Hi, I'm David Himmelfarb, Managing Partner of Himmelfarb Przanski. If you've been involved in a slip and fall accident, uh, the legal process that you'll be involved in is not a complex one. It's uh, rather simple. And at my law firm, Himmelfarb Przanski, we have streamlined the process uh, so that we can get your settlement as quick as we possibly can. That doesn't mean that we're not going to put in hard work, and that doesn't mean that uh, you're not going to be part of the process. So you should understand exactly what you're getting into. And the, the process is as follows. There was a slip and fall accident, and uh, hopefully you've done uh, what we've asked you to do, which is take photographs of the area and find witnesses to the incident and uh, to notify the property owner of, uh, of the incident and get an incident report. Uh, but then the case comes to us and uh, we put the owner on notice as well with a legal letter. Uh, we then follow that up very shortly thereafter with a request to um, um, uh, keep any surveillance videos, uh, preserve them, uh, uh, and if they don't then that's a problem for the uh, landowner or property owner in, in the lawsuit because they've now destroyed uh, uh, potentially uh, very relevant evidence which is uh, always something that's construed against them later. Uh, so what we would then do is we would issue a lawsuit. Um, we would uh, schedule medical assessments for you and obtain all of the medical documentation that we would require to fully prove all of your injuries. And uh, we would follow you in your recovery. We would go, we would go uh, follow you through your rehabilitation. Uh, we, if you're taking physiotherapy, for instance, we would get all those records. We would contact you, see how you're doing. Uh, we keep in contact with you uh, on a regular basis. Our lawyers will all be in contact with you. Our law clerks will be in contact with you. Um, and we're available by email, by telephone. Uh, our cell phones are readily available for our clients as well. So it's important to have that communication um, between client and, uh, and law firm. In, uh, to keep us abreast of all situations that you're going through. Uh, so once the lawsuit has been filed, it then gets served on the property owner. Uh, they then um, uh, report it to their insurance company, and their insurance company hires their lawyer. At that point, we now have a formal lawsuit because we've got the lawyers on both sides of the lawsuit now. Uh, we then have a scheduling department that we take the bull by the horns and we make sure that this case doesn't sit around and, uh, and linger or languish. We prosecute these cases um, and uh, we're well known in the industry for making sure that our cases go through the system as expeditiously as possible. We make sure that the insurance company understands that we want to get to the courtroom. We're pushing the case towards the courtroom because that applies pressure on the insurance company that, that, that pushes the insurance company to react to your claim. If you're not pushing it, if you're not asking for discovery dates, if you're not asking to get to a pretrial, if you're not pushing the case through the system, then what routinely happens is that the insurance company and the defendant, they routinely will ignore the case. That doesn't happen at this law firm. We make sure that your case is pushed through the court system as fast as it possibly can. Once examinations for discovery are scheduled, shortly thereafter there will be something called a mediation. A mediation is essentially a fancy name for a settlement meeting. And in the City of Toronto, it's mandatory. In all cases that are filed in the City of Toronto, we have to actually have the case mediated before we can even get to a pretrial. We have to certify to the, to the court that indeed we've had a mediation and it's failed. In that case, they'll let us go to the pretrial and we can present our case to the pretrial judge who then may make another effort to settle the case. But let's talk about mediation for a second. Once we've gone to the discovery and we've asked questions about how the accident happened and the insurance company's lawyer has asked you questions about what your injuries are and how, how your accident occurred and, and how the injuries have affected your life, then we um, are in the process of developing your case further identifying what your damages are. We get to the mediation, and that's where about 80% of the cases will settle at mediation stage. So it's a very, very important uh, uh, stage in the legal process, and it's something that at our firm, we work towards settling cases 
at the mediation stage. If they can't settle at mediation stage, about 20%, yes, we're prepared to go further. We go to pretrial, we go to trial if we have to, and we prove our cases and we win them. If you've been involved in a personal injury slip and fall accident, find out what your claim is worth today through our personal injury calculator at himpro.ca or call one of our experienced personal injury lawyers at 1-855-446-7765.